A real-time detection model based on transformers has landed on Hugging Face and we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it. This model is based on Apache 2 license which makes it really more and more attractive. Before we show you the installation, let's have a quick look as what exactly this new model is. Let me show you its architectural diagram. So the real-time detection transformer or RTDETR is the first real-time end-to-end object detector to my best knowledge that addresses the dilemma of the existing YOLO models. The YOLO models are great and we have covered them quite a lot on the channel and they are one of the most popular framework for real-time object detection due to their reasonable trade-off between speed and accuracy. But the speed and accuracy of YOLOs are negatively affected by the NMS. Recently, end-to-end -end transformer based detectors or DTERs have provided an alternative to eliminating NMS, but still the high computational cost limit their practicality and hinders them fully exploiting the advantages of excluding NMS and that is where this new model RTDTER tries to help. This model RTDETR has been built in two steps. First, drawing on the advanced DETR, where they have focused on maintaining accuracy while improving speed, followed by maintaining speed while improving accuracy. Also, they design an efficient hybrid encoder to expeditiously process multi scale features by decoupling intra scale interactions and cross scale fusion to improve speed. Then they have proposed the uncertainty minimal query selection to provide high quality initial queries to the decoder. And that is how they have improved accuracy. RTDTER also supports flexible speed tuning by adjusting the number of decoder layers to adapt to various scenarios without retraining. And there is a lot of great information which you can find, find out in their paper. So if you look at this diagram from another angle, all they are doing is they are feeding the features from the last three stages of the backbone into the encoder and then the efficient hybrid encoder transforms multi-scale features into sequence of emit features through the attention based intra-scale feature interaction and the CNN based cross-scale feature fusion. Then the uncertainty minimal query selection selects a fixed number of encoder features to serve as initial object queries for the decoder. Finally, the decoder with auxiliary prediction heads iteratively optimizes object queries to generate categories and boxes and that is all there is to it. So let's try to get it installed and see how it does the object detection. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am using for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also I will give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. Now let me take you to my terminal where we will be uh, setting up our environment and then we will run everything in our Jupyter Notebook. So as you can see I am using Ubuntu here and then I am using this NVIDIA RTX A6 thousand card with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and I am going to create a Conda environment to keep everything separate from my local system. Let's wait for it to get installed, shouldn't take too long. That is done, let's also install our Jupyter Notebook. And that is done. Let me clear the screen and let me just install, uninstall, and install char set normalizer. This is one of the bugs with my own operating system. You might not have to do it. So if you don't want to, that is fine. Let's clear the screen and then let's launch our Jupyter Notebook. And this is going to open it in the browser. There you go. So let's click on file and new and then a notebook. Okay. So now let's first install some of the prerequisites. So first I'm just installing this torch below at requests. These are installed. Now let's move forward and install 
transformers library from the source and please make sure to install it from source like this because this is this model is seemingly only available in this one so let's wait for it to finish and that is done let's also install the matplotlib because i might also draw that so pip install matplotlib let's run it and that is also done let me show you now the code to download the model and then also we will be using an image so here first up i am just importing some of the libraries which we have installed then this is the image which we will be using as a sample you can use your own image of course and this is the image of the cat which we will be using it is online available you can use any local image and then i am just opening this image with pillow this is the image processor from the transformers library this is the model's name which i showed you earlier and then this image processor is using this model we are passing the input to the uh, as a image to the model and then we are getting the output from the model so let me run it so you can see that the model is already downloaded it's very very small model just 172 m mac because all it is doing it it is just doing object detection and that's pretty much it and once that's done i have used the image processor to post um, process and validate the output which is fine no error so that is all good let's try to plot the result so i'm using that matplotlib which we just installed mm -hmm. and then i'm simply using this very familiar uh, code which is a quite a standard one to show uh, the image after plotting it so let me quickly run it and there you go so if i just scroll down there you go so in our image which i showed you earlier it has created a box around this cat how amazing is that and also recently hugging face has released a pipeline to alternatively instead of going through this you can even simply just feed it into pipeline for example something like this and it is going to give you the score label box so this is a box which you can then plot with the help of matplot just like we did above so this is just a shortcut way of doing it nothing wrong with the earlier way but you can see a very specialized small model which does only one thing and does it in a style and this is what i really love about these current models which are coming up that they are very very specialized and low size which you can run then on cpu no need for mega massive gpus and quite easily perform your task so that's it guys i will drop the link to this model card and also the notebook in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching